Hi, I'm Kinsani. I'm an interior plant stylist. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a moss pole and train your creeping plants. I've chosen a monstera for today. Uh, how to trail up that moss pole. So here are the products that you'll need. A 30 centimeter terracotta planter with saucer, a broomstick pole, gardening wire or cable tie, peat moss, potting mix, pruning shears, a bag of perlite, and any creeping planter of your choice. To start off with, I'm going to take my stick. So I need to pretty much measure um, the terracotta planter and where the moss pole would be above the planter. So that helps your monstera creep up the moss pole. So you can use a pen. I just use my pruning shears to make an indent on the stick so that I know where to start the moss pole from. So now I'm going to cut my gardening mesh. You can use scissors or you can use your pruning shears to do this. I make sure that the gardening mesh is above the indent that I've made on the stick. Now here's the next part. So you are going to wrap around your gardening mesh around the stick. So this is just to measure how wide or how thick you want your moss pole to be. So I would like it round about there. So this is where I would start cutting the mesh from. So now that that's all measured and I'm happy with the height, so this is where you're going to take your moss and you're going to place it on your gardening wire. You need moss to help the aerial roots of your creeping plants to grow up this medium. So it will allow those aerial roots to sort of, sort of grow into the moss pole. So you just lay the moss onto the gardening wire and then you take your stick and you place it on top in the center. So now I'm going to tie this garden wire together. Make sure that this is as tight as possible because you don't want your stick to be moving up and down um, when you're creating this moss pole. So I'm going to just use my cable ties now. I usually start in the middle so that it makes it easier and it holds together. And then I go along the moss pole. So this is when I'm going to take my potting mix. I'm going to mix my potting mix. So depending on the pot plant size that you choose and also the potting soil that you use, uh, you may need more than one scoop of perlite. How I know if I have enough is if I'm mixing in the soil, I need to pretty much see equal amounts of perlite and potting mix in my mixture. So now I have my Monstera. So I need to take the old, remove the old soil. You can use a black plastic bag in order to catch the old soil. I will just give it a bit of a shake. And now what I'm doing is just removing the excess soil. So you need your mixture that has your potting mix and your perlite. And I am going to take my moss pole that I made and I'm going to put it inside. Now I'm taking my scoops of soil mixture. What you would want is for your roots to be completely in and to make enough room for that. Just make sure that you are holding your monstera while you're putting the soil in. And I'm just making sure that I'm covering all the roots. Now that the moss pole is standing um, on its own and I have the placement of my monstera, what I need to do is make sure that I attach the monstera to the moss pole. And you do this as gently as possible. So you don't want to force your monstera stems to go in any sort of direction that it wouldn't naturally. You can choose to tie all the stems to the 
moss pole, but I just prefer to leave some of them um, untied because I don't want to force the stem against the moss pole and damage any of the plant. And the most important part is to water your plant. Make sure that the water runs through. So the point of doing this is to train your Monstera to climb up the moss pole. And as it does this, it will grow bigger leaves because it's mimicking its natural environment. The best way to keep your moss uh, moist is to spray it regularly. I usually do this once a week on my watering day. For all the products featured here today, you can find at your local builders. For more ideas like this, you can visit our website. Get to builders, get it done.